So the way to think about it is that this is essentially letter zero is A, B. So if I want to access A, I can just pretend that I have the survey. How would we access this element inside the survey? So remember in an array, the indexing goes as zero and one. So we can kind of think of this as like a box here where it's just basically, it's just an array and this is A, B. And then the indexing is 0, 1. So if we want to access the A, and well, yeah, remember that these are choice. So this is a A, and then this is a B, so these are like choice. So if we want to access this first element, what we will just do is do whatever this a is, we we'll just take 0, and that will give us our A. But to get here, we had to go to letters 0. So in front of it, so you can just kind of pretend like just slash it off for now. Um, but now we can just say that whatever this was, we took the zero element and that is A. So pretty much the way to think about this then is that this is the first thing is telling us how, like, what is, like, out of these two, what do we choose? So do we choose this array? this yellow one or this blue one. So letters of zero is basically telling us, A, hey, we're going to choose this first one. Okay, that's what letters of zero says. We're going to choose this first one, this yellow one. And then letters of one would tell us that we would choose the blue one, which is the second 1D array. So like over here, if we want to access A, we have to first say, okay, well, how will I even get this array? I'm going to ha how will we get this yellow one? To get this yellow one, I'm going to have to go into letter zero. And once I'm inside it to access A, I just have to go for to the zero element. That's what I have to do to access it. And similarly for the B, it's the next element at index one. So we have to go to letter zero. This takes us to this yellow array, AB. And then we take the first one and that is our B, which we will use. Similarly, now for letters of 1, what happens is that is CD. So that we, we've come here and we've said that we want to get this. So that's what letters of 1 will tell us, that we're going to go to the second array, 1D array. And then we see that it is C and then it's D after that, which is 0 and 1. So all together, when we have, this is just telling us, this will give us the reference to the other 1D array and all the elements inside it, A and B. We'll get everything inside it. But if we want to get a specific element inside this 2D array, we do letters 1, 1, and then we'll get the D over here. So when you print it out, you will get A, B, and then D. So what we can see here is this is kind of how it looks in um, in the space as well. This is letters pointing to letter zero and then letters one on each of these points. And we finally get this output. So this is kind of um, what I wanted to show for um, right now. And um, thank you for um, for the time. <laughs>